Hello everyone, my name is David Zopf and I am a PhD student at the Leibniz Institute of Photonic Technology in Jena, Germany. Today I would like to present my project idea within the framework of the Indigo Project's Young Scientists Competition 2014. The title of my project idea is Fourier Transform Imaging Spectroscopy Applied on Metallic Nanoparticles in the Infrared Regime, a tool for the quality control of plasmonically enhanced solar cells. Recently, spectrally tunable plasmonic nanoparticles have been used to increase the performance of solar cells. In spring 2013, Edward Sargent's group from Toronto University reported a 35% enhancement in the photocurrent in the near infrared spectral region using nano shells. These nano shells consist of a thin gold shell and a silica core. The evaluation of the quality of these structures is a crucial factor to optimize the performance of future solar cells. Therefore, a non-destructive measurement tool to obtain spectral information on a single particle level is required. This can be achieved using imaging spectroscopy, where the spectra of all particles in the field of view is measured parallelly. One approach of hyperspectral imaging is Fourier transform spectroscopy, where an interferogram is measured, which by applying a Fourier transformation leads then to the desired spectrum of the particle. The setup of a Fourier transform imaging spectrometer would consist mainly of two parts, namely a dark field microscope setup and a Michelson interferometer with a movable mirror and a fixed mirror. Light from the light source is directed towards the particles and it illuminates the particles under an oblique angle and the scattered light of the dark field object uh, the scattered light is collected by the dark field objective and is directed towards the Michelson interferometer. Here it is split in two parts, one is set into the fixed mirror and one to the movable mirror. It's reflected there and recombined at the beam splitter again and then led to a camera. By changing the position of the movable mirror, one can change the um, optical path difference of the Michaels interferometer, which leads to an interference pattern. At each mirror position of the movable mirror, an image is captured by a CCD camera. So what one obtains in the end is a data cube consisting of images as a function of the optical path difference. By reading out the gray values of these images, one can generate the, the interferogram and by applying a Fourier transformation to this interferogram, one obtains finally the desired particle spectrum. The big advantage of this technique is that the spectra of all particles in the field of view is measured in one measurement. This makes it very time-saving compared to other single-particle uh, measurement techniques. And also, one can measure large areas in solar cells, for instance, and it would be a good tool for the quality control of solar cells. I hope you enjoyed my presentation and you will like my video on Facebook. Thank you for watching.